guys hi <laughs> it's been so long since i vlogged i feel so weird vlogging but hi guys <sighs> welcome back to my channel joy are you with um if you're new here thank you for stopping by please subscribe and join the gang if you're not new here you're a real one for coming back because i've been so m.i.a but i'm back i'm back um okay hope it's just a hope of vlog <laughs> i don't even know what to tell you guys i am going to i'm going for a bible study um our pastor is joining our bible study he's like a special guest today he's going to talk about how to know when you're called and how to answer your calling and we can basically just ask him any other question but that's the main thing that he's going to talk about and i took a nap like i was just like i've dragged myself out of my room and that's what i was saying if you if you've been watching um my bible studies i said sometimes your body not even sometimes most times your body will not want to serve god you have to force it so i just had to force myself out of the house to go for this bible study because i know i'm going to learn a thing or two yeah i'm wearing a dress i look so cute i look so chic so i bought it from shein it's really pretty <laughs> i don't know how to show you but yeah let's hope i actually vlog edit and post this video and if i do you guys comment and clap for me clap for me for real because i'm just forcing myself out of this funk hi guys today's on this is on friday um i have one class today and then later on today oh baby today is easter friday what is what is the friday called easter friday good good friday good friday today's good friday easter friday today's good friday happy good friday um you'll probably see this in april but yeah i am trying to get my groove back in vlogging because i feel like i might never get out of my funk so i might as well just try vlogging here and there and just see how it goes um i don't know what to do with my hair y'all like i don't know what to do with it mm, wait this is kind of cute i don't know should i just leave it down I don't know what to do with it i don't know i'll think about it so for easter um my grandparents i'm gonna be calling them my grandparents right now because they said uh, they keep introducing me now as their adopted grandchild these are my supervisor and his wife they've been hosting me so like regularly since the year started and they just show me so much love and I feel so welcomed. I feel so loved at their place. And I just feel like I feel God's love because these are people, we are not even the same race. They don't know me. They don't know anything about me, but they just choose to show me so much love. And just that just goes to show how God loves, loves us all regardless of how we look like you know anyway uh they invited me to their house for easter so my supervisor is going to come and pick me up today 
after class so that's the only plan i just go to class come back maybe go go eat then pack some few things that i'm going to need for the weekend and leave guys this is what i've gone for do we like it do we like it just some side part and a pony a small pony my hair by the i cut my hair last year and it's grown back i didn't i didn't cut all of it but i cut a big chunk and i feel like it's coming back but anyway i like this style i like it i feel like it's cute because i'm also wearing like a sweatsuit so i feel like it matches just like a calm flex did you guys miss my pretty face oh by the way um i was <laughs> i can't have so much things to tell you guys and i feel like i want to be able to tell you everything i keep meeting people in school and they're like are you a youtuber and i'm like why because they're like most of them are saying when they were um applying to come to siu they found my videos on youtube because you know how i used to be like siu this is i always used to do videos about this school when i came here so people from america who were accepted to this school and wanted to know more about this school because there's not so much people who've done youtube videos about our school they'd go on youtube and they'd find my videos guys like that is so cool to me that is just so cool to me and it just made me feel like oh i want to go back to vlogging like i want to go back to vlogging Sorry, that I guess I can let you guys know. Um, for the quiz this time, it is all multiple choice, true or false, or matching. There's no like written, short answer uh, question, but it is still 10 points. So. Thank so God. Even like the quiz last, Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah, No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you no more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Oh, ciao Still Friday, but the end of the day Okay, not the end of the day, it's the middle of the day I took a nap I was so tired I took a nap and my supervisor just texted me Said he's on his way lately nacho kanga like i can't go a full day without taking a nap like i honestly can't function without taking a nap and i feel like <sighs> i'm just tired oh my god he's texted me i think he's already here damn okay i need to go i need to go i'll see you guys when i get them Oh, I had gone for a sip and paint. I wanted, I had vlogged this. Imagine, like, hey, mental health, I had vlogged 
painting this sip and paint actually sip and paint painting this thing and it turned out so good it turned out just like how the inspo was looking like and i was so proud of it but i was never able to show you guys so i just wanted to show you guys here i'm actually an artist low-key i mean high-key because i've always known but like y'all get the point anyway let's go to my other home Topping up the mess Drop it in the water Let the daughter find an image with the rest She'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity Reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait upon the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her guys so i got to this house i came we got here around 4 p.m and then i needed to mail my taxes i needed to mail it back so that i can get my tax returns apparently you pay taxes and then you get a refund for like the u.s taxing thing is so weird but this um the lady here has been helping me with that and finally i was able to do it correctly and i mailed it and now my supervisor told me he wants me to mow the lawn with him and it looks scary but he's doing it so i want to do it but he looks like he's enjoying it i want him to get off it so that i can do it <laughs> he's having fun he's like a boy with a toy you know but anyway i look so pretty <laughs> there he is with the orange thing do you guys think i can drive this thing Hi guys so it's saturday and we came to one of my grandparents children's house they're hosting us for easter dinner yeah i'll call it dinner if i'm talking to so <clears throat> their their grandchildren are they are like my age mates or like a year or two younger tell me why they are married they have kids and those who don't those who are not married are into, are here with their girlfriends and boyfriends and mimi i can't even tell my mom if i'm dating like why people are so lucky yo why people are so lucky but anyway it's a really beautiful house and i'm going to have dinner more people are coming in Are you going to, Allison, are you going to tell them, like, the boundary? 
Okay, guys, here's where here's where you want to go. Okay, the end of the field over there. No. <laughs> <laughs> so go back here. Back both here. porches, maybe somewhere you want to go. And this back patio area, that's it be. for back there. I'm going to pee. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> She's Everything else is in from the house to the end of our house. And then out there to the end of that truck, all the way to the road. Okay, are we marking a set going? So right here. Here. It's the eggs. Do you see that? Getting so many of them. <laughs> oh Lord. Ah, there's money in there. Hi guys, I am back to my place. Today's on Monday. I don't like Monday. <laughs> like it anyway so plan for today i have two classes after that i have a project that i'm working on for school so i think i'll go to the library after i go have a meal and then i go to the gym in the evening yeah i think that's what i'll do today so i don't know if i'll take you guys with me because it's nothing nothing major but i'll see i had a good time for i had a really good time at easter at my supervisor's place like at my grandparents <laughs> it was so nice and then um they finally he finally got to speak with my dad and they oh my god they vibed bro they had so much in common it was like i thought they were gonna talk for like five to ten minutes they were on the phone for over an hour they had a really nice time and i love it for me i love it for me it was such a really good time i am having fun here and i remember one of like most people in kenya say this but funny thing is even people here say it that it's not it's not every day that you find white people being that accommodative to black people and maybe it's because I'm African, because I feel like Africans kind of get treated a bit more different than black Americans. But still, I feel like it's the favor of God, because when I was coming here, I told God, I need you to go with me. I need you to guide me. I don't want to experience racism. I don't want to have a hard time. I just I just told God everything I did not want to experience. And it's I'm almost clocking in one year and not once can I tell you I've experienced racism. Not even once. Not once. 
I've also found favor with people like this is my second supervisor to host me. I found favor with strangers. I found favor with people outside my race. I found favor in a country where I have no one to, no nowhere else to run to. You can't tell me that is not God. That is just God. That's how I see God in everything. And that's how I always tell people. Whenever someone asks me, I'm going abroad, I'm going to study abroad, what advice can you give me? Get it together with God. Get God. Put God first. Once you do that, God guides everything you do. God guides where, God guides you where he'll take you. Wherever God guides, he provides and god has been providing everything for me not even just material stuff but even the things that i didn't know i needed but yeah so another week of classes um i don't like it that much but i'm gonna do it so we use uh difference between sample and average mean right so 20 minor 10 divided by SEM, right? Divided by two. So 10 divided by two is five, right? So the answer is B. So that is can how you answer this question, right? Are you examining the relationship between the group? If yes, you go continually, right? So between the, I'm examining the difference between groups of one or more variables. So sometimes you have one variable, so, such like you want to examine the age, right? Hi guys, I am done with my classes for today, but I have two classes that for the final exam we don't we're not doing an exam we have to do a final project and we're doing it in group works in group work in groups but i want to start my section so i'm just going to the dining hall i go eat and then i'm going back to the i'll go to the library hopefully what i want thing about me when i clock in i can do it in one day so I'm, i want to see if i can do it in like i do one of the group projects today and then tabakina i have to meet with my group member on wednesday and then i'll take you guys with me to the gym in the evening I'm headed to the gym, yo. I'm headed to the gym. Nimetaka, Nimetaka library a bit late because doing that project took longer than I anticipated. And then I was like, Ama, I don't go today. But I started, um, I started going to the gym for the group fitnesses. So it's not kwanga scheduled. So if I miss today. I'll have to wait until tomorrow and I don't like missing a class. I'm doing the cycle 
like we're doing cycling my hair looks like a mess but i'm just in a hurry i have like five minutes before the class starts okay not five like ten minutes but i just want to get there on time but i finished the project took long but i finished it and i'm just so happy i'm just so happy i always feel so good when i achieve daily goals because may set daily goals and weekly goals and once i achieve them i always feel so fulfilled <sighs> anyway, let's go work out and achieve another goal <laughs> Guys, I'm back to my room and guess what I'm rewatching? I'm so helpless. Mrs. Yeah. is Idika. I'm rewatching Titanic. Alright. <laughs> Such a hopeless romantic. I just wanna see like Bald now. You let go and I'm I'm gonna have to jump in there after you. Don't be absurd. You'll be killed. I'm a good swimmer. Jack Dawson. What else do we pick here? Hey y'all. Hi. Today's on doesn't Tuesday. Yeah, today's on Tuesday. Which is from my one class. I always have one class on Tuesday. So I just finished it. I um <sighs> what kind of a day do I have today? I have to go oh, okay after my class i'm going to the dining hall to have something to eat because i haven't had anything to eat today and then after that i have some assignments i want to get over with i'm the type of girl i'm the type of student that even if something has a dead like a two-week deadline i just want to get it over with right now and just you know need to acquire so i'm going to try and do that today and then in the evening i wanted to go to the gym but i have to go to work today so i'm gonna go to work and when i'm working i will be editing this vlog because one thing my phone doesn't have is space i don't have space and i have i have committed myself to posting um what is it called to posting bible study on youtube because it used to be so easier on me to just post like even once a week but now that i'm back to vlogging i have to vlog and i have to do bible study and usually how i always do it is i'll i'll record the videos on wednesday edit it and then post on thursday and i can't have um a one hour vlog here i'm sure it's going to be one hour but it's always one hour before i edit i can't have a one hour vlog and a one hour bible study so i'm thinking i just i'll finish this vlog today edit it post it delete the content and then tomorrow i'll do the bible study <sighs> see the things i do for you guys please 
share my videos like comment and subscribe because i'm really going to it anyway i love it i love you guys i really enjoy doing this so let's go eat and continue our day i learned my back of here because yo my hair is a mess I'm going to work and I wanted to close the vlog because I want to edit this vlog when I'm working. So I want to tell you guys something. I'm not going to give you guys the word of God here because I do a Bible study every Thursday and I feel like giving you guys a word especially on my vlogs i need pangi enough time to explain or expound go watch the bible study videos um if you want to hear the word of god but anyway i want to tell you guys something so beginning of this semester there's a guy um who came to our school he came and he got the room next to mine so he got the room next to mine um he moved here from Chicago, so he had to buy everything from scratch. And I remember he he didn't know anything about Cabondo, so he asked if I could like help him, like you know, go around, buy things, and everything. And I was like, cool, because at the beginning of the semester, there was, there was not much I was doing, so I helped him. We were like, we went shopping. He bought all his appliances like i saw him buy all his appliances from the mall <laughs> and yeah god god i'm funny sana anyway so three weeks into school like three weeks uh into the semester he i think he was talking to a girl and she felt uncomfortable and she reported him uh for sexual assault or sexual something but there because that is such a serious um accusation in our school he got suspended for them to like investigate so he got suspended and he was like uh terry i got suspended for this and that um i have some food stuff here that i don't want them to get spoiled could you come to my room and just take what you can take and you know does this have be care so i was like oh yeah well it's sad that you have to go but yeah i can take some food stuff so i took i took some food stuff and as i was taking some food stuff he was like oh do you want the microwave i can give you the microwave too it could be helping you and i was like um okay so i took the microwave and he's like you can take the air fryer too and i'm like in my head i didn't think too much about it because i was just like okay i'll just be using it for maybe like a week or two weeks until the investigation is over and then he'll just come back and take his things i didn't even take it seriously so that was like the beginning of february this man has not come back to school for so long that i've just called him right now because i was like um we're about to close this semester is about to be over so i was like let me know when he's coming to pick his things so that i can like you know be there to give it to him so i'm calling him i'm like hey um when are you coming to pick your things he's like i already picked my things during spring break this guy is like well they now belong to you <laughs> i'm like what he's like yeah those are yours now because i already took everything else and those are yours now hey and i tell you the shock and i'm just like the whole time i was there shopping with this man god knew those were going to be my things like god bro i have an air fryer that i did not buy i have a microwave that i did not spend even a dollar on and they're brand new like it doesn't get better than this guys it does not get better than this and i promise you god will use people to give you things 
mimi na kwa mimi mko na Mungu vile na hiyo nanga like i'll see god in everything every little thing if i can get something i have not worked hard for if i can get something i have not earned i see it as god's grace and favor because how do i get an air fryer that bro like <laughs> like my ma- like the, the way this guy is just like yeah those are yours and he's not even sh- like bro like what <laughs> anyway I just wanted to share that as a testimony so now I've never shown them on my channel cuz I've never felt like I owned them but yeah in the next video y'all are going to see them I have an air fryer now and a microwave which are all mine and I did not buy them <laughs> one thing about god like guys don't play about god don't play me I don't play about god and he clearly doesn't play about me god gifts me like god will make someone buy something for me without them knowing they are buying it for me i know that's right <laughs> anyway bye guys i will see you guys in the next vlog please like comment share and subscribe and i love you so much i'm so happy to be back vlogging i'm so happy to be talking to you and i'm so happy that i could able to i was able to vlog again so i'll see you guys bye <laughs>